Hey guys, and welcome back to more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I'm in the middle of fighting an octopus right now. Uh, so, uh, in the last time, in the last episode, rather, Princess Rudo went up this lift right here and was stopped by this giant octo. So we need to do something about that. So, yep, you just gotta stun it. You gotta stun it with your boomerang and then hit exposed area. Ow. Yes, those spikes will hurt. Imagine that. And if you see the platform do that, that means he is going to run the opposite way, so that's something to keep in mind. This is not a very well... Uh, I don't want to say not a very well-designed boss, but it's... If it's not fun, I consider it not that great of a boss. <laughs> it's basically you hold down the run button, or you hold down run until you catch up to him. And you're like, well, I mean, it doesn't look that bad, right? Yeah, except he progressively gets faster and faster, and it takes longer and longer to actually catch up to him. And he does that more often. And the faster he goes, the more you have to cut these corners. But you see those corners right there. Uh, you'll get damaged if you get too close. It's very annoying. I don't like it. But I've got two hits on him already. I don't know if I need to get three on him or not, but we'll see. And sometimes when you get too close, you will turn around. Luckily, I haven't had that happen yet, but still plenty of time. But yeah, there's really not much to, not much to this boss. It's just kind of annoying. I mean, there's really not much more else to say about this boss. I'm literally running, hoping to catch up to it, then I throw my boomerang at it, then I hit him. Like, the last time you've seen me do this, the last three times you saw me do this, it's nothing's going to change with this boss. And as you can see, he's actually gotten a little faster, because I'm gaining on him ever so slowly. So, uh, guys, how was your day today? Mine was pretty good. Uh, well, I mean, I guess it's still, like, 11 o'clock at the time of this recording. So, I mean, I haven't really had much of a day. It's my weekend. So, I slept in till like, 9 or 10 o'clock. I normally get woken up at, like, 5 or 6. So, uh, yeah. I loved, I love my weekends. I love my sleep in days. Oh, Please don't turn around. Thank you. Oh, I think I got him. Thank goodness. Oh. Praise the Lord, he is dead. Oh no, I missed those hearts. But huh, Rudo's not up here. Guess I'll have to go get her. Fairy, please. Thank you. I did not want to hear that beeping over and over again. One moment. Oh, that was gross. Didn't want you to hear that. So, moving on. You got this thing. And that thing, screw off Octorok. And yeah, you can make platforms out of them, just like last time. So, nothing you didn't already know. And this. Yeah, that's a platform. <laughs> because. And this is signifying, hey, you need something. You need something to hold this down because... Work. But luckily, we have been given ammunition to work with. Boxes! Yay! I love my box. That's my buddy Billy. Billy's gonna help me progress through this dungeon. Alright, now you sit right... Sit down right here, Billy boy. Don't you be moving. 
Thanks, Bitter Boy. And yay, my favorite room. Full of jellyfish and things to kill. But luckily, they are easy to kill. Mortal jellyfish. Mortal jellyfish is easy to kill. Unlike immortal dog. Wait, hold on, hold on. I hear the scotula somewhere. I don't know if y'all can hear it, but I can hear the little scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. I think I just saw it on the wall. Hold on. Yes, I did. There he is. Alright, so I need your spoils. For later, of course. Yeah! And on our way up we go. Not this... Uh, whatever this wall is covered in. I cringe at the thought. So, uh, yeah, there's like this little wall in front of us, so you need to throw your boomerang, because it naturally curves around. And you hit the little switchy room. Switchy my bob. Switch my bob. B -b uh, whatever. Jump off, please. <laughs> Goodness. He's like, no, I want to climb. It's like, no, you don't. You don't know what that wall is made out of. Uh oh, door just locked behind us. This must be a special room. And why yes? Yes, it is a special room. What is this abomination? Why it's bioelectric and a mini baronade! Come on down! <laughs> You're the next contestant on Man, you are gross. <laughs> yeah, he's a. Uh... Oh. Link, Link, please. Yeah, he's a. Uh... He's different. He's a different boss. So you just need to hit those. Oh! Hit those tentacles up there. And then once he. <sighs> once he exposes that right there. Oh my goodness. You're getting on my nerves, man. He, he is getting on my nerves. But see, even though these are bigger, bigger jellyfish, they're still one hit kills. So, uh, don't worry too much about that. Ow! So, yep, you just need to stun it. Whoa! That was close. You saw that. But yeah, so all you gotta do is stun him on that area there, and then he'll be open for attacks. Try to see if I can sneak a boomerang hit in there. Probably not, but worth a try. Aha! You fool! Okay, maybe I am the fool. Get rid of these. Oh! I'm just gonna come at you. I'll at you, boy. If you can't do nothing now. You can't do nothing now. You can't do nothing now. You can't hit a moving target. But yeah, he's moving a little, little faster now. That will not stop the hero of time from his destiny. cycle here. By the way, have I mentioned already that this boss is just gross? Like, what is this? It's like a... It's like 
a heart. I'm stabbing a heart. And I've killed the heart. And he... Oh, oh. And he boils up and explodes into green goop. Fantastic. Ew. Blank, you're standing in it. Oh, I can't get my heart container from it too. And now we have another human heart inside of our chest. Seven human hearts worth. Oh, you. Just who I wanted to see. You! You're late! What took you so long? You're useless! I was just lonely, that's all. Just a little! Nobody cares. I don't care. I just want that stone. I need that stone. Whoa, too close. Don't look at me like that. You, you looked cool. Cooler than I thought you would anyway. Just a little. Well, anyway, you saved me, so I guess I'll reward you. What do you wish? Just tell me. Look, I really want and actually need that spiritual stone. So, I mean, if you don't mind. You mean spiritual stone of water, sword of sapphire, don't you? Yes. My mother gave it to me and said I should give it only to the man who will be my husband. You might call it the sword's engagement ring. I call bullcrap on that. I feel like you're just making up some rules now. All right. I'll give you my most precious possession, Sora Sapphire. Um... You, you could have just handed it to me. I was right there in front of you. You didn't have to do this teleport thing to me. Actually, where the heck did she go? Anyway. You got three gumballs. You obtain the Zora Sapphire! This is the spiritual stone of water passed down by the Zoras. Her most precious possession? You don't know what she's talking about, but you finally collected all three spiritual stones! Go back to see Princess Zelda! Absolutely. Don't tell my father. So. Thankfully, 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 that part is done. I don't have to worry about this dungeon anymore. <sighs> so, that being said, I know this is a little bit shorter than normal, but I think I'm going to call that a part here, just for, uh, for story purposes, because I feel like some progression was made, and... The next part should be a good one. Get away from me. <laughs> Crazy child. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. And the next part, we'll go see Princess Zelda. See you guys then.